Hey guys, my name's Sam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is episode two, Road to the Jay Cutler Classic. Hey guys, it's time for my weekly check-in. So my training from last week to this week, uh, it actually has changed. We, we being my partner Evan and I, decided that we needed to, one, up the intensity of secondary exercises and supportive muscle groups, and two, um, we were still riding high and throwing around big weights, and we're still doing that, but we're working more on the contraction, the mind-muscle connection, time under tension, so really we're working on bringing out the details right now. Still the same intensity, still the same general program, but just the little extras, the squeezes at the bottom, the forced reps. So, if anything, intensity's increased in the last week. Honestly, things are progressing really well. So much so that I got a refeed, or what they call a cheat meal, uh, this past weekend, which was just spiritually great. Um, cheat meals, or free meals, or refeeds, however it is. They have two purposes, really. One is to shock the metabolism and keep you sensitive to certain nutritional stimuli, and the other is uh, probably the more um, popular reason, which is just kind of like a mental break or, you know, just a chance to regain your sanity. So for me, everyone metabolizes differently. Um, for me, I the diet I'm on right now with all the depletion and the low carbs, you know, when I get a refeed and it's really packing the calories and the carbohydrates, uh, it's a rough night of sleep, you know, extremely full, extremely bloated, but the next day, I mean, just feel like Superman. You know, you're, you're blown up, you, your muscles are inflated, you get great pumps in the gym, um, everything feels great. Your weight stays up for a while, which is a little shocking, but you know, all part of the process. Uh, so now I guess we're gonna take you through my morning routine, you know, from waking up through fasted cardio and then meal one. Hooray! Do I have a healthy relationship with food? Um, I think in general, yes. Uh, I definitely feel more comfortable when on a program, you know, something I can follow that kind of just leads me to where I need to be. Um, typically, if I don't have a program and, you know, I'm just living a normal existence, I might, you know, think about skipping meals or, you know, just cutting out certain things without rational reason to get to a goal. Um, but I definitely don't starve myself. Um, I've been obese, uh, I've been anorexic, and I think right now I've got a pretty healthy balance. I, you know, I know a lot enough about nutrition to uh, maintain whatever physique I want, but definitely prefer to be on a plan. I like the structure. My support system is sound. It is. Um, the team I work with, you know, Kina and everyone else involved, you know, they're, they're consistent, they're driven, they have the eye on the prize, they're keeping me level, they're keeping me honest, which I appreciate. Um, Evan as a partner has been great. Uh, Ashley and Nasi as, you know, cardio buddies and just overall support throughout the day or just, you know, can't thank them enough for that. Keeps me level, keeps me grounded and keeps me motivated. Um, Family and for the most part friends are sticking by me and understanding my you know new boundaries I've set for this process and that's an important thing. So when I think about how people perceive me as a friend and you know how they uh, reacted to me, what they expect from me, the simplest way I can put it is anyone that's ever owned a pickup truck, I'm a pickup truck friend. I've had one since I was 16. And what that means is everyone looks to you when they need help with something. You know, move a couch, move furniture, do anything, um, go to the dump. And when you're a pickup truck guy, you don't say no. So that's kind of who I am when I'm, you know, living my normal life is you call, I answer. You ask for help, I help you. Um, rarely do I ever ask for anything in return. I actually have a lot of probably an unhealthy relationship with asking for help. I just don't do it. But when you're a pickup truck guy and then you start acting like a, you know, a sedan driver or a normal human being with boundaries, it freaks people out. 
Because you've set that standard that you are going to answer the phone. You are going to proactively go out of your way to help other people. And the moment you take that away, you really see how people value you and whether they do or not. You know, are you just that amenity or are you a friend? Are you someone they care about? Um, and that's, that's definitely something that comes to light on a daily basis at this point. You know, do you view me as Sam, your friend, or am I your pickup truck friend? Thank you for tuning in to episode two of my prep videos. Uh, episodes drop every Wednesday, so please tune in next week to week three. Uh, please like and subscribe. I didn't figure out what I was going to say. So anyway, thanks for tuning in to episode two, guys. I hope you tune in next week for episode three. Videos drop every Wednesday leading up to the show. And um, yeah, appreciate your support.